Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. This is the first in a series of 12 videos on the topic, the spiritual powers of omniscience, omnipresence, and omnipotence on earth today. Things to look out for by Alice B. Claggett. This, the first in the series, is entitled Expression of Omniscience, Omnipresence, and Omnipotence in the Realm of Duality. I should first explain a little about these three terms, omniscience, omnipresence, and omnipotence. The prefix omni means all, and the root science means knowing, as in science, in the English. And so the word omniscience means knowing everything. In similar fashion, the word omnipresence means being present everywhere. The word potence is related to potency or power or strength. And so the larger word omnipotence means to be all powerful, that quality. These are psychic powers or cities as is known in India. In past, I have talked a little about the spiritual powers of omniscience, omnipresence, or ubiquity and omnipotence. For instance, uh, you could go to my blog, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com and search for the blog entitled Dealing with the Disincarnate Gods. And there you'll find some of the past information I have on these qualities. However, it is not till now that I understand more about how attaining these powers manifests here on Earth. I should interject here that the, the cause of my writing the, this series was my spending some time as a meditator with a group of people who practiced the um, Voyalar's teachings or those of others who have attained these states. Um, I myself did not attain that state, but I learned a very great deal about that state because it was said that the, that the teacher there had attained that state. And when I left the group, there was just quite a commotion on the astral plane that I tried to understand and put a peg to um, because it seemed that I was being pursued by the group on the astral plane for three whole years, night and day. And so I, I was hard pressed to come up with the answers and to try and figure out what was happening. So you see here in this very first section, I'm speaking of light and dark and the third and the fourth dimensions which are characterized by the duality play. And it seems to me that what happened to me was that at first I experienced the great light of the Volular's teachings and then later when I fell into disfavor with the group I began to experience the dark if you if you get what I say and so the following that I have has to do with the astral commotion that happened over three years and how I eventually made sense of it. I hope this helps. Expression of omniscience, omnipresence, and omnipotence in the realm of duality. The physical realm, the third dimension, and the astral realm, the fourth dimension, the land of dreams, the feeling world, express themselves as the realms of duality. Thus, those who manifest the spiritual powers of omniscience, omnipresence, and omnipotence on earth manifest both light and dark through this spiritual power. 
there are, in fact, spiritual teachers who manifest these powers on earth through identification of their human physical body with their grace body, what the Ascensioneers call the body of light. The sage Ramalinga Swamigal, nicknamed the Valyalar, was one such. I have here a quote from English Wikipedia regarding that sage. Uh, the title is Supposed Physical Transformation, and it goes like this. Quote, Perhaps one of the most notable factors of this sage is the claim that he supposedly attained a divinization of the physical body. He attained a total of three transformations. His first transformation was the transformation of his normal human body into the perfect body. The supposed attributes of this body are total invulnerability to everything, thus rendering him effectively immortal and impervious to any kind of damage, as well as having the attributes of being omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. This body is apparently made of divine light. Beyond the state, there was a subsequent transformation by which the perfect body tr transformed further into the grace body, possessing the following attributes. This body has automatically a young appearance, like that of a child, can be seen but can't be touched, and has complete and absolute dominion over all the cities. Even beyond the state of the grace body, supposedly there was a third and final transformation in which the grace body was transformed into the bliss body. This body is the body of the Supreme Godhead and is automatically omnipresent but can't be perceived by anyone. By achieving this, Ramalinga demonstrated that the ultimate states of spirituality can, in fact, be attained in this world with the physical body, and death is not a necessity to experience the ultimate spiritual experience. End quote. This quotation is from the English Wikipedia link Ramalinga Swamigal. It's CC by SA 3.0, and so I can quote it to you here. There is more about the Valyalar online. For instance, he had an autobiography entitled, quote, True Life of Deathlessness, end quote. And um, for a while that was available online. You may find it if you search around. In furtherance of the Valyalar's tradition, there are various groups, both large and small, that practice this art in the world today. Well, dear ones, that's the end of this, the first video in the series. I wish you all God's peace and love and light until next we meet.